I find that the harder I work, the luckier I tend to get. If you don't allow something to happen in your mind, it won't manifest. Well, mm -hmm. I would say I that if you're, you know, a 12 year old Jewish kid in 1939 in Poland <laughs> and Nazis show up. I don't think they could pray away the fact that they got thrown there's, into a, a concentration camp. There's different, you I know. think if you're, I think if you're a Hutu that lived in, and or a Tutsi that lived in Rwanda in 1992, and they cut your legs and, and your arms off, I don't think that they pray. They could pray that there's away. Different. Nobody prayed that like, away in their life. Yeah, you live in yeah. Sierra Leone and you get your arm blown off from from <laughs> hunting for dynamite. I, I just, think, I think you got to take some. I think you got to. I think you got to take some action too, right? Yeah, of course. I think actually, I think you got to take an action, and that's like the most important thing is, okay. is you have to take some action. Michael you know what I'm saying? Doesn't believe in. Energy. 12 laws of the universe. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I mean, 12, ru 12 rules. Hold on. There's 12 ru rules of the universe, unless you're one of the one. If you believed you could escape, you could probably escape. Uh, well, I, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Escape to where? Because I think, hold on. I think if you're, I think if you're one of the 100 million people. I'm, I'm, I'm believing that there's a big T-bone steak in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh, oh, maybe, be there. Too. maybe they hear this and they're going to get it postmated. I'm, I'm just like, like, if you're, if you're. Watch somebody one out here. So yeah, the guys in the green room will go. Like, like, my, 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 my question is, if you're one of the 115 a thousand Inuit Indians that died on Is Hispaniola when Christopher Columbus showed up, did they not pray hard enough? Or the hundred million people that died from the wheat famines from Ch the, under Mao Zedong in the 1900s, is that because they didn't pray enough? They like, didn't I just, manifest they enough. Didn't ma they didn't no, manifest enough believe, wheat? Is that what happened? I, I just don't know. Like, so see, see, here's, I just, see, here's my problem with all this, because like, I'm totally on board with everything yeah. you say, and I, it's like the metaphysical stuff and the, the energies and the chakras and all the, you know, the, the secret and manifest it and it'll come to you kind of thing. I mean, I, I get it. I hate like not having that sort of like that you have a reason like that work for you. Like yeah, you're saying that's your that's you that's your thing. You can't like outgrade oh, yeah. those things. Right. But, 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 but by the way, you you got into this whole thing because you had a brother in law who committed suicide. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I mean, there's a motivation well, yeah, yeah. similar well, to like, what you what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is like, I mean, I find that the harder I work, the luckier I tend to get. Yes, right? so, I mean, sure. those things. So, but, but you're also believing and believing in yourself and putting in more hard work. And right, that, right. Well, it's like then. So the other thing is energy. Carly, the other thing is like if you show up to work and you get 110. When I if you show up to work, you're still going to make your paycheck. If you show up to work, you're still going to make your paycheck. If you show up to work and get 110, percent you're going to make more money. I don't know, Carly. I, I just seem to get more attention when I could bench press 350 yeah. pounds and started okay. making started that. making yeah. seven yeah. figures. All of a sudden, yeah. women started paying attention to me, yeah. and it really had nothing to do with fucking prayer. It had nothing to do with fucking prayer. Weird flex, but did you wake up every day and get excited to work out and get excited to be? For sure, I just I just and you thought about the better body and the better life that you could have. While I, while I understand what you're saying as far as like positive motivation and like re, re, like re, re, realization, I don't think women gave a fuck about my energy because they didn't give a fuck about it when I was 22. They didn't but give a fuck about my energy. Manifestation is not about other people. Manifestation is about you better than No, I agree. Yeah. Like, what I'm saying imagine. is there was no energy. Let me like, no one gave a shit. But when I when Who I took the, when I when I took <laughs> action to improve myself, <laughs> the world changed for me. Exactly. But I took action. Exactly. Yeah, that's fucking that's energy, Michael. Can I, can, can I say something? Can I say something going off of what Michael said? So Michael said something about women not paying a shit uh, paying attention to him uh, giving her shit like Thanks. sorry <laughs> giving a shit until he's in his 40s right okay so Duh. okay so you guys don't pay attention like when you guys are in your 20s you didn't go after guys in their 20s because like they didn't really have shit they're living like off their mom and dad's but money they had good energy them. though tiff they, they had, had good energy, energy. Still they had good energy. Them, so but, i'm giving them some uh, energy but uh, but uh, still fucking them though the, the no one none Never. of us who gave a shit excuse me what? None of us gave a shit about guys that are in their 20s because they don't have status. Michael's in his 40s. Michael has his money. He has his status. And guess what, Michael? Did women start paying attention to you once you had everything and your money? Oh, when, your I got, when I got out of the military and I started working finance, yeah, I just noted. But it wasn't even about money. It was, it was just like about I, your confidence. But no, for sure. But the confidence came from me taking action, from sure. me consistently seeing a pattern of success in my life. And then also when I would speak to people, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be like asking them permission to listen to what I was saying. I understood that whatever I said was deserved to be heard, and people recognized that. But you that was an action. That's but that was an action, though. That but wasn't manifestation. That was an action. It was an action, but in an extent, you decided that you wanted to be better. You decided to wake up and work hard every day. Uh, okay, and you well, 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 I understand that. Why well, I understand that. So the, the, the energy the that you're giving the, to your body. When, I, to when your soul. I chisel, when I chisel out my reality, the rest of the world, uh, women do not care about my struggle. They wait at the finish line and they fuck they the winners. winners. Like, that's yeah. essentially that's essentially what happens. That and the problem is while that doesn't feel right if i look around the world that's all i see i don't see anything other than that in fact 
there's a, there's almost no exception to that rule. That's essentially what happens. I have found that women are like they find a guy that they're madly attracted to, and they don't look at the work he put into himself. They just see that the fact that they're attracted to him. They don't, pre- they don't appreciate well, they don't it either. The work that the, the female put in to get where she's at. Either, I think so. if you find somebody of value, we way. all put in good work. Go ahead, Kenzie. So. What you were explaining, Michael, yep. actually does fall into manifestation because like who you believe that you are, because you were like, mm-hmm. I'm going to not ask permission for people to listen to me. You were creating yourself and that is manifestation. Mm-hmm. It's doing the like, work. telling the world who you are. You're right, like, but I, I think you're, you're saying that after the fact and then calling it manifestation. Well, I got, no, that's, I, so here's, it here's, all goes together. I, mean, like, like, again, I, I do I not think the thing. people of Hiroshima yeah. and Nagasaki no. manifested that nuke that, that got dropped in. I don't think they did. Get it that. together, bro. It's totally different. It's, but, it, but, it's, but it is. It's like, man, can we get a nuke today, oh, please? Baby, 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 Emperor Hirohito will maybe not fucking surrender. Die. Nuke yeah, us, please. There's a, a God forbid. I'll, uh, yeah, let me maybe see if I can bring this Jesus. full circle here for you. <laughs> Thank okay. You. So Sexy like Jesus. a lot of a lot of Jesus. whenever I listen to women say, "Oh, I believe in ghosts and chakras and whatever and energies and Brazilian power crystals and all that stuff," I kind of I kind of <laughs> have to like take it with a grain of salt it's, because it's because what it is is a superstition, and there is actually a power in superstition. A belief, the belief is powerful. The actual superstition yes. is bullshit. Okay, Placebo but the effect. but yeah, it, it is. There's this need to believe. So a, a like I, believing you know, God, I'm gonna I'm right? gonna I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give a uh, a shout out to uh, a guy that I never really give a shout out to. Uh, uh, Coach Greg Adams here. Coach Greg Adams has this saying. It says, uh, "Hope is not a strategy." Okay, and that's really what he's saying. Is hope is not a strategy. But I will say this: is that hope is necessary. Imagination is necessary. A belief that you can be better than you are today. Visualization is necessary necessary. because that that it's it's just like having like a a lucky rabbit's foot or some sort of fetish or something like that where you're believing in this thing. But it's actually the power of the belief. It's not the actual thing. I manifested these breast implants. I manifested it. (laughs) I manifested this BBL. I did it. You actually can't manifest. But 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 the imagination and the hope is necessary because without it, like you don't you don't if you would never go and try to build a bridge across the river you would never try to go and do anything more than what you're doing right now so unless you wanted to so, so hope i mean is... unless you want to be stagnant and just you know sit in one place so you mean it takes energy to do something no. No. Right? It's inside, of, inside of you but it doesn't broadcast here's what's happening here's, here's what's happening we're both here's what's, here's what's happening we're both we're both describing like a successful campaign but you guys are giving your name to it and i'm giving my name to it that's all that's happening the thing is my name shows up in the dictionary and yours is like manifestation like no manifestation legitimately means I think of things and then quantum yeah. fucking particles yeah. come together and the Lamborghini just appears Yo, in front of me. Really That's literally what it means. Uh, but, it really does sometimes. Yeah, but if sometimes you read in the dictionary, that is what it means. You gotta manifest, but do the work. Yes. No, but then, sometimes hold on. Literally... But when you manifest and do the work, you know what that's called? It's called not manifesting. It's not manifesting. <laughs> that's what it's called. But there's there's a conception that you have to believe that there's there can be something better, and then you take action to go do it. You okay, but sometimes yeah, like literally, I will be like, I will receive a so and so tip tonight, and then guess what happens? I receive and for that. sure. And those people, and those sixty-one right. million people and that I died even, from the Spanish flu know. in nineteen nineteen, oh they <laughs> manifested that. They're like, man, I want to die from that. Sixty percent of hey guys, hey guys, I want you to consider this. Sixty percent of the human population died of the bubonic plague in the fifteenth century. <laughs> we are privileged in the opportunity that we have nowadays. Ten per, ten percent of the human population was killed by Genghis Khan at one point. They manifested that. I don't manifest death, but I'm still gonna die. What privilege, though? <laughs> I mean, I'm just the privilege, the privilege of how simple we live nowadays. We get to literally just wake up. Go to work if we want to. We don't even have to go to if we want to. I, called, I have to go to work. Okay. It's called a luxury does. belief. Oh, work, but like, like, you have the luxury to do that or not do you, that. Exactly. You like We're that. privileged in today's age. Where yes, women we can, are for sure. In life, like we can, like everything is just so easy. Oh, right? I agree with you. We're far away from a survival hands. scenario, which allows us to have these conversations, exactly. We're very and it allows four like, percent mm-hmm. of, of millennials to believe the Earth is flat because they don't have because they, <laughs> there's no one strenuously explaining to them that the the world is the way that it is. What do you What do you think? The what, what, do you, <laughs> what do you think, like D? I, I, I want to hear from Go. D and Christiana. Uh, personally, yeah. uh, my, I think it can go both ways there's, okay there's part of it that's manifesting can you stop um, tapping i'm sorry i'm back in girl the we're all mm-hmm. super tight so that's all good I'm just making sure you're aware. Yes. growing up um as simple as playing soccer my father coached for so many years and his thing was always like you know visualization is so important yes. in life whether it's as you know you're on the 
the soccer field, the basketball field, you're studying, you're uh, passing your first, you know, your driver's test, whatever you're doing, first visualize it. First visualize where you want to be, what you're doing, going through the motions. If you're, you know, shooting a basket, visualize everything where the well, ball leaves your fingertips. The, goes into visual, the visualization. The first time I heard visualization was the playmaker, Michael Irvin. We talk about he knew where to be and the ball was just going to be there when Trey Aikman would throw him the ball. For, for sure. Be the ball. Be the ball. Yes. Uh, what do you think, Christiana? I, okay. You're probably not going to like this, but I think you guys are both saying the same things. You're just not agreeing with each other. <laughs> because basically what it all is, is it's called having a goal and then like, you know, taking the steps to achieve the goal. Mm -hmm. The goal is, I guess, a visualization. But... And then you're saying like, yeah, but you got to take action. And they're like, yeah, work towards the goal. So I think that you guys are both saying the same <laughs> yeah. thing, but Absolutely. you're just you're just not agreeing with each other, which is okay. 